All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to embed our media players or anybody's media player into a web page. I have loaded up right now a test page, and of course, the only thing on that page is how to embed your media players. And this is the HTML code for that. So, of course, if you're going to embed these players, you need to have um, some way to get into your website to embed it onto your page. So the only thing that's on this page is this little section here that says how to embed media players. Okay. It's real simple. You need to know the uh, size of the media player. Okay. So for this demonstration, the media player size is 400 by 133 so you need to know that that's the first thing you need to know now what we're going to do is we're going to do an iframe wherever it is on the site you want to put this media player you're going to create an iframe and this is the code for it iframe space source equals and right here after the source equals it will be the URL to your media player Okay, that's what would go there. In this demonstration, my media player is in the same directory as the web page itself, and it's called player.html. So that's all I need to put. The next thing I want to do is space width equals the width of that player. That's why it's important to know the width and the height of that player. Okay. Then we're going to put in some iframe codes to make everything fit really, really nice. We're going to put a margin height of zero and a margin width of zero. We don't want any scroll bars, so we're going to say scrolling is equal to no. And we don't want a border. So we're going to say frame border. Border. Get it right. It's equal to zero. And we're going to close that. And we're going to close that iframe on the other side. Okay. Now you can put something in here. Some people put uh, just some words in here. All right, so now I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to refresh our test page and we should see the player pop in there. Okay, and there's the player. Um, of course, we don't have time to teach you HTML, but if I wanted to center that player, I will go to my A frame, go to the very outside of the first part of the I frame, and I'm going to put in a center code and go to the very end of the I frame and I'm going to close that center. Now I'm going to refresh. Okay, that's how you embed the player onto a page. Now, if you like me, I have a lot of WordPress sites. This is one of my test WordPress sites. If you're going to embed a player or something onto a WordPress type, uh, onto a WordPress page or post, you notice in WordPress you have a visual mode and you have a text mode. If you're going to if you're going to embed an iframe, you you need to do it in text mode, and we're going to just put in an iframe. Our source, remember I told you the source will be the location of your media player. Where in this particular case, we're just going to use a website. Remember, we want our margin height to equal zero, our margin width to equal zero. The width of the player we said was 400. The height of the player, uh, we're going to use 150. It's just whatever the, the player is, 
and it doesn't matter if these attributes what order they go in um, we want scrolling to equal no we don't want it to scroll and frame border we want to equal to zero okay close off that say no frames now close off the iframe so we have our iframe we're going to check it make sure this is the the URL to your media player but in this case I'm just using a website uh, we got a margin height zero margin width zero the width of the player the height of the player scrolling no frame but frame border zero now you may have plugins on your WordPress installation that could be conflicting with iframes um, if you do, then you, you, you're going to have a difficult time embedding anything. Okay, there it is. If this was the player, you would see your player in here. But in this case, it is uh, another website. And if you notice, you can't scroll. This is a website. It's a whole big website. But you can't scroll. Um, and there's no border. If you want to add a border, you can. You can increase that um, borders equal zero. You can try some different numbers in there. And that is how you embed it onto a, a post or a page in WordPress.